वेलकम बैक टू इन्फी ज्ञान फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड चैलेंजिंग रेशनल इक्वेशन इक्वेशन इज टू एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर वन प्लस टू एक्स प्लस टू एक्स टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट थ्री माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर वन प्लस टू एक्स इक्वल टू वन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट रियल सोल्यूशन फॉर एक्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बाई राइटिंग डोमेन ऑफ द इक्वेशन डिनोमिनेटर कैन नॉट बी जीरो सो आई विल राइट वन प्लस टू एक्स दिस वैल्यू कैन नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो so 2x cannot be equal to negative 1 x can't be minus half one thing is clear now second point square root so i will write 3 minus 3x square it should be always greater than or equal to 0 it cannot be negative so i will take 3x square to the right so it will become 3 is greater than or equal to 3x square divide by 3 both sides i will write x square so if i will take 1 to the right so x square minus 1 it should be less than or equal to 0 if you will simplify using number line method so it will become x should be in between minus 1 and 1 and if i recall you then this is range of sine and cosine function okay let's get it started by taking lcm first first i will multiply with 1 plus 2x so i will write 2x square plus 2x square root 3 minus 3x square is equal to 1 plus 2x okay now i will take away 2x square from both sides so once i will take away 2x square from both sides i will write 3 minus 3x square equal to 1 plus 2x minus 2x square now i will consider squaring both sides once i will take squaring both sides this square root will be over so let me consider squaring both sides so i will write power 2 so left hand side will become 4x square in bracket 3 minus 3x square right hand side a square one identity i will use a plus b plus c whole square so a square 1 plus b square 4x square plus c square plus 4x power 4 my plus 2ab so i will write 4x plus 2bc so i will write minus 8x cube plus 2ca so i will write minus 4x square now you can see minus 4 and plus 4x square i will cancel out so what is left let's simplify expand lhs also so it will become 12x square Minus 12x power 4 equal to 1 plus 4x power 4 plus 4x minus 8x cube. So if I will simply write the overall equation, then this equation will come out 16x power 4 minus 12. If you will take to right, it will become plus 16. Then minus 8x cube as it is unchanged. third term would be minus 12x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 now this is quadratic equation but there is one small trick once more you can see it is 16x power 4 so we can consider 2x whole power 4 8x cube it is 2x whole power cube in this manner can we write so let us write so i will consider plus first the equation originally 16x power 4 then minus 8x cube then minus 12x square then plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 now i can write this equation as 2x whole power 4 then then second term is 2x whole cube 2 cube is 8 2 power 4 is 16 similarly third term i will write 3 times 2x whole square you can check 2 square is 4 4 times 3 is 12 12x square fourth term will be 2x i i have to consider so 2 times 2x plus 1 equal to 0 now one thing is waiting for us that is substitution so let us consider 2x is equal to t 
so this quartic will become simpler t power 4 minus t cube minus i will write 3 times 2x square so it is 3t square plus 2 times so i will write 2t plus 1 equal to 0 now you will find out simply i am putting t equal to 1 see what will happen 1 minus 1 minus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is this true yes it is true that means t is equal to 1 is confirmed solution for this equation and remember t is our consideration our substitution at last that will be x is equal to half t equal to 1 so 2x is equal to 1 x is equal to half we will write at last now i will use synthetic division method to find out cubic equation so let me write all the coefficients 1 minus 1 minus 3 2 1 okay now i will put one line over there leading coefficient as it is now multiply with the base solution this is our base solution okay 1 times 1 1 0 1 times 0 0 minus 3 minus 3 times 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 times 1 minus 1 0 here we are having coefficients for cubic equation so i will write t cube then e square term is 0 so no need to write minus 3t minus 1 equal to 0 we have to solve this cubic equation also okay so let us finalize our solution so far t equal to 1 so that means t equal to 1 this implies 2x is equal to 1 so x is equal to half is our first solution real solution which is let's solve this cubic equation t cube minus 3t minus 1 equal to 0 t cube minus 3t minus 1 equal to 0 now i will put t equal to 2x let us put back so i will write 2x whole cube minus 3 times 2x equal to 1 let us consider now i will write 8x cube now it is 6x equal to 1 divide this equation with 2 so i will write 4x cube minus 3x equal to half now this left hand side is recalling something if i will write sin theta sin a or sin theta formula for sin 3 theta see in terms of th sin theta if i will write the formula of sin 3 theta don't write this sin 3 theta sin 3 theta is 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta if i will put x is equal to sin theta so this is our substitution x is equal to sin theta then what will happen 4 sin cube theta minus 3 sin theta equal to half so it is not in the formula because 3 sin theta so i need to multiply with minus 1 so i will write 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta equal to negative 1 by 2 now this is ending point means how you can find out the general solution left hand side you will write sin 3 theta and right hand side it will be 1 over 2 with negative sign don't forget negative sign now i have to find out general solution for this equation remember what is theta what is t now you can consider because we have to put back the values also so i will write sin 3 theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 remember x is equal to sin theta so we will find out theta from here then we will find out x okay general solution i will write we know that general solution formula for sin 3 theta i will write n pi plus minus 1 raised to the power n times alpha whatever is written right hand side so i will write 3 theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to the power n and alpha if you will write then minus pi over 6 so simply by putting n equal to 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 and the concept of coterminal angle i have calculated theta will come out 
70 degrees or let me write x directly or theta 70 degrees or theta equal to if you want to see then minus 50 degrees and third theta I am collecting that is 110 degrees. So our x value will be sine 70. So this value is coming out 0 0.9396. Sine is negative when it is in the third and fourth quadrant. Third and fourth quadrant. So keeping this thing in our mind, we are finding the value of x now finally. These are the values of theta. Don't con confuse between 3 theta and theta. Now second x I will write sine negative 50. Co-terminal again. And third value will be sine of 110. So if you will calculate these values, values are 0, negative 0 0.766 and third value is 0 0.9396. So overall solution if I will write. See these values are identical. So let me write all the complete set of solution 1 by 2 that was our first solution and second value is negative 0 0.766 and third value is 0 0.9396. This is how we will find out our solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.